Greetings, my excellent friends. How you doing this evening? You know, you may not realize it, but I've actually worked in education for almost 20 years. In fact, I worked in education when distance education via computer-mediated delivery was in its infancy. And I've always taken that to heart because I have really enjoyed the opportunities to teach using this medium. Now, last year, while I was teaching my students interrogatives or how to make questions, I turned that into an exciting lesson by calling up the true blue Australian, Mr. Polly himself, down in Australia and having them talk to an Australian and ask him questions about his life. Not only did it reinforce the actual lesson on how to generate a sentence using the interrog interrogatives, but it gave them the opportunity to speak with another native English speaker and someone with a very markedly different accent. Last week, I was able to use Skype, one of my favorite tools, to talk with Eric Surf6. You see, my students had a story dealing with someone who set a world record. And since I am an avid Eric Surf6 viewer, I know that he holds a world record for surfing while juggling. And it was a great opportunity for the students to speak with someone who had a world record because a lot of the discussion questions in the textbook dealt with why do you think someone would set a world record and actually their presentation that they had to generate this week was to research a world record and give their thoughts about it. This week we entered a new unit that dealt with mountain climbing and it was great to be able to access YouTube and show various uses of harnesses, ropes, spotters, and different types of terrain because quite frankly a lot of times the articles in the book talk a lot about the aspects of mountain climbing but the pictures just don't give it justice and the kids are wondering why are these people doing these things and then when you can show them the Alps or you can show them El Capitan or you can show them uh, some mountains in New Zealand and what people go through and how all this fits together it makes them come out of their shells because here in Korea a lot of times the kids are very afraid to speak because they don't want to make any mistakes. But you show them a movie clip that's related to the topic at hand and they come out of their shell. They don't care about making mistakes. They want to know more. And that's the whole purpose of learning. What is your favorite piece of instructional technology? I'd really like to know. We'll see you later.